hello guys in this session we will going to see the factorial crd design how to do the data analysis in factorial crd design in excel so that we have here three factor design each factor having a different levels so this design called as asymmetric factorial design for crd in this factor n having two levels factor p having three factor k having three and the replications three we have the total treatment combinations are 18 so we put here the treatment combination in this table you see here you see here factor n having two levels so that we put it here n1 n2 okay then factor p having three levels we put here the p1 p2 p3 likewise for n2 p1 p2 p3 likewise we made a treatment combinations over here and these treatment combinations are total 18 here you will be going to see the replications are there so with correspondence to the treatment combination we put it or applications so here you can see the treatment total and treatment average in this table next table in factorial shared design two way tables first two way table is n into p table in this table you will get the mean values for the n and p another p into k table in this table you will get the mean values for p and k and n into k in this table you will get the n into k mean values the main and important table the ANOVA table in this table you will get the source of variation degrees of freedom sum of square mean sum of square a calculated a table then significance in this you will get the treatments first factor n then p k then we consider here the interactions interaction for n and p then interaction for p and k and interaction for n and k and you will get the combined interaction for n p k and you will get the residual that is called as error so here you will get in this table degrees of freedom another with respect of these columns you will get sum of square mean sum of square f calculated f table here is f table for 5 percent as well as the f table for 1 percent and here you will get the significant or non significant whether these treatments are significant or these interactions are significant or non significant if there is significant then you will see the sig that's called as significance and if there is a non significance then you will get the ns then another most important value is cv value and you will get the CV value percentage over here in another table you will get the standard error mean standard error difference CD and tables in that we consider all the factors over here with main factors with the interaction the next column you will get the standard error mean for the respective factors then you will get the standard error difference then cd value for 5 percent as well as cd value for 1 percent and you will get the final thesis table here here is the main factor that is n p k then you will get the interaction with their means cd and standard error values and these design are very simple to use and it's a fully automatic design so what you need to do in this design you just collect the data from field like in this fashion just put the treatment combination over here or just put the treatment name 1 to up to 18 
and just record the R1, R2, R3 values and just copy these values and just paste over here in this table and you will get the result if you want to modify something in the in this design so you just need to change this value for example we consider r1 first value so that here is 4.20 just i want to make it a 4 then just you can change over here and you will get the result reflected in all the tables okay because it's a fully automatic design we provide this type of design if any students need this type of designs please contact me i'll put the my whatsapp and mobile number in the description of this video otherwise you just comment below you will get the price and quotation for this particular factorial crd design sheet if any query please ask in the comment box Thank you so much.